Now this rock face behind me is actually not rock. It is an old stockpile of abandoned salt. The salt is all solidified into one giant mass. It's uh, quite an impressive view. Uh, I've never seen so much salt before. Basically when the uh, salt mines here at Pink Lake shut down, the remaining stockpile was abandoned and it's still here today, about 30, 40 years on. Had a taste and it tastes good, it's good salt. Who knows how many more years it will be here for. A short drive from Pink Lakes and I arrive at Mount Jess Lookout, offering excellent views of Mari Sunset, Victoria's largest national park at 677,000 hectares. I've pulled up at the Mount Crozier campgrounds. It's a fairly basic site with just pit toilets and some fire pits. But there's a walk here called the Mount Crozier Walk. It's 150 metres to a lookout. So take a walk up and uh, see what I can see. There's a whole lot of hoof prints running across the track. A lot of young ones with the, maybe the occasional adult. Take a look at them. It's uh, the first clear blue sky day with the sun out and probably a matter of weeks it's just been really poor weather pretty much ever since I uh, left Melbourne <laughs> so I've had really cold winds blowing nearly every night I've been hiding inside the car most nights uh, so I've pretty much emptied out the whole entire vehicle everything inside put out all the mats and just letting all the uh, condensation water from under the mats evaporate out and it's about time after nearly five months on the road now I'm going to go through all my boxes and start sorting out some of the stuff I haven't used and send it back home. I've already sent one shipment back home with an old sleeping bag, um, some books and a few other odds and ends which I just haven't touched. So there's no point carrying all the extra weight if it's something I haven't used or haven't needed in five months. There's a good chance I won't need it again for uh, I'll pretty much the rest of the trip. So yeah, I'm getting more particular to, with what I carry. So I'll let all this stuff dry out, I'll do some more unpacking and repacking and then spend a nice day in the sun reading a book I think. After two nights at the Underbull Track camping area, I'm heading west along the Sunset Track. The hours of driving allow the mind to roam free. Random memories of childhood friends and places I've been come into my mind. The landscape is all Mali as far as I can see. The drive I would like to say is interesting, but a distinct lack in vegetation diversity makes the drive predictable. Mali though does have its own beauty. Now I'm at Rock Holes, which is a feature on the park map. Now it's, it's actually fairly significant. The last uh, two days I've been driving and it's just sand country. There's very few sites of actual permanent water, especially not fresh water. Most of them are salt water, because all this area is once a, a great ocean millions of years ago. So there's still a lot of salt around. But this site is actually has hard rock, which is I haven't, the first time I've seen rock in two days. So we've got a nice little water pool here of fresh water. It's about a metre deep, so throughout the year there's a good chance there'll still be water in here. You can see plenty of uh, tracks and scats nearby of different animals that come to this water source. There's plenty of wasps and bees, some uh, mosquitoes as well, so they're all taking uh, all making use of this water. So I'll head off and have a uh, look around. And 
Here's the end to the third day in Maori sunset. Quite a nice sunset, orange and blue, and we've got a new moon coming out tonight, which is great. So as soon as that sun goes down, it gets pretty cold. After another two nights of quiet solitude at Feeney's Track camping area, I'm making my final push north. Well, it's behind me is the old Shearer's quarters of the former pastoral lease here in Murray Sunset, which ended in about 1989. So they've still got the quarters, an ablution block and a shed here. You can see by uh, the surrounding landscape just how degraded it is very different open pastoral land. Yeah, there's not, not too much around. This can now be hired out as a accommodation from Parks and Wildlife. So if you want to stay in a real old genuine Shearer's quarters, and you can hire it out uh, per night. If camping in a uh, old Shearer's quarters isn't your thing, you can also come here to the, the campgrounds nearby, which are very basic, just uh, a pit toilet and some tables and chairs. But plenty of space. Seems like there's plenty of birds around here too. Here's an old dam that was built just to store water for the stock. Just pushed up dirt around the edge. Looks like it collects any water overflow from the land. It comes in here, flows down in through this little culvert here. The miner's track leads me towards Mildura and my exit from Mari Sunset. Did you enjoy this video? Then please click subscribe and share it on Facebook and Twitter. If you'd like to help support me create new videos, then please consider becoming a Patreon. Click on the Patreon button on the screen now. Thanks.